Did you ever meet Elvis? Yeah, I, really? interviewed, I interviewed him like you did. You no, interviewed yeah. Elvis? Yeah, it's famous. Really? He never did interviews, but I liked him and I got him to agree to do an interview. For what? Just, well, what, were you, what were you working for? For the BBC and, uh, and uh, KPOI, a radio station in Hawaii, where he was when I did the interview. Oh. You know, well, tell me about, stuff. Tell me about when you come into England, you know, <laughs> just real yeah, yeah. stupid. It was just a great opportunity, you know. I think uh, uh, we saw Tom Parker. I, I was friends with Tom Parker until he died. He was just a really interesting character. Um, I said, I'd like to meet your client. And he goes, well, he doesn't meet people. I said, well, you know, I could, um, who are you? I said, well, I'm Herman from Herman's Hermit. He <laughs> goes, sorry, sorry, Herman. well, he didn't know that, you know. <laughs> I said, where are you playing, you know? Oh, we're playing here in town. Where are you playing? I said, well, we're playing at the uh, Hula Bowl. We're headlining. Oh, what time do you want to meet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we sold 50,000 tickets to a concert. He piqued his interest. Of course. And it was just a black of... Elvis was a really nice guy. You know, it's a shame that he didn't do tons of interviews because he was a really funny, mm -hmm. uppity. He did have 10 people with him who laughed at everything he said and didn't laugh at anything I said, although some of my stuff was funny. He laughed, but they didn't. They right. knew only to laugh at yeah. his stuff. Very it's kind of so. sad, you know, yeah. Well, no, I think they just, they were kind of primed. You know, he, Tom told me that, that what they had was a 50-50 deal, but it was 50, he only got his 50% of the net. Mm -hmm. So Elvis would spend a load of money so that he only got, he said, I wish I had 10% of the gross now. <laughs> and I got 50% of the net, and there really wasn't a net because they would buy people cars. And yeah. Elvis was very... Um, extravagant mm -hmm. so that Tom wouldn't get all the money <laughs> funny stuff yeah, it was a very very interesting interview because it was all my sister I called my sister I said I'm gonna I'm gonna meet Elvis what shall I ask him and she said ask him does he dye his hair which is you know so constantly all through the all through the interview I'm like <laughs> looking at his hair instead of his face you know what I mean and it clearly was dyed <laughs> and the biggest shock was how handsome he was when he walked in shit this is the most handsome guy I've ever seen he looks just like in the movie, but he was made up for the movie. He was all fit. Mm -hmm. He was making Paradise Hawaiian style. He was all fit with the makeup and the hair. And he was like, Elvis. You know, usually you know, you meet John Lennon, he like one of the boys. Right. Elvis looked like Elvis. Huh. Well, let's go to John Lennon then. I had, a, I had a strange relationship with John Lennon because he was the one in the band who didn't have a girlfriend at the time. He'd fallen out with Cynthia or mm -hmm. Cindy, whatever her name was. And he was kind of on the tile, so I would, like we'd do a television show in Birmingham, which is about 100 miles from London, and I was so cheeky that I would go to John Lennon and I would say, uh, what are you doing after the show, what are you doing after the TV show? And he would do, like to get rid of me, he says, oh, I'm going back to London. And I'd say, can I come with you? <laughs> and then what would you, yeah, all right. So we'd go to London and I'd be there, like, with no bags or anything. Yeah. In those days, nobody had credit cards. You know, I had a checkbook and no... People would cash checks. So, and then we got the ad lib and you'd get in the, I remember we'd get into the, the elevator, the lift at the ad lib club, which was upstairs behind Leicester Square. And um, once we were in this elevator going up and, and they played, I'm in with the in crowd. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm standing there and I'm, Shoot, I'm, with, El I'm with one of the Beatles. And we go into the club and I was only 16 and they wouldn't serve me a drink. No. So yeah, we can't serve, you can't have a drink. So John said, uh, I'll have two, two Bacardis and he'll have two Cokes. <laughs> and then we, so we switched the things and they knew we were doing it. And we, it was kind of fun. It was The music was too loud, so there was not a lot of chatting. Mm -hmm. you know. And I realized that he was more interested in the kind of girls that I could pick up than the girls, the 22-year-olds that he could pick up. <laughs> so it was a kind of... And I knew his dad, Freddie. You know, I got to meet his dad, Freddie, and uh, go through all those discussions about... That was a huge breakdown. You know, I had a great relationship with my dad, mm -hmm. so I couldn't understand a lot of a lot of those uh, people didn't have really good relationships with their dads. I did. Mick Jagger had a good relationship with his dad, mm. so we did okay. Keith Richards had a good relationship with his dad. I think it's part of the it kind of keeps it grounded. Mm -hmm. Dads, you know, you want to you forget until you don't have a dad anymore how proud they are of every single accomplishment that you make, mm -hmm. no matter how big or small it is. It's just an accomplishment. They just want you to accomplish things. Well, I'm going to let you go, but, uh, but what are you up to? Yeah, I know you're being a, doing a big tour this summer. You're, well, you're always on the road, aren't you? Yeah, we're always on the road. It's part of what we do. It's like we do 100 concerts a year, and um, 
it suits our wives and our families that we've gone that three days a week. You know, most people are lucky enough to have their dad around every night. Yeah. I'm just around every day except when I'm working. Right, it's, it's just weekends, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, you know, but sometimes we go away for a long run, but you know, it's three days a week. I'm home three days a week, two yeah. days, two days, three days a week. It's not bad, is it? No, not bad at all. No, you my daughter lives in Nashville, so when I go to Nashville, I do work there, you know. Yeah, nice. Good well, stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. It was thank great. You.